opened our doors to customers on 5th of June. And um, so we've been in this market for um, less than a year. Uh, we've started operations with three branches. Uh, two branches in Nairobi and one in Mombasa. That is just to start with. And um, in the, I've mentioned in my speech that we have adopted the same progressive strategy as our parent company, which actually is one that um, calls for um, substantial growth in the markets that we operate in. Um, as we mentioned to you, as I mentioned to you earlier, we are the largest Islamic bank in uh, the UAE. We have every intention in the Kenyan market to become the leading bank, the leading Islamic bank in Kenya. Indeed, we have ambition um, as soon as we entrench ourselves fully in this market to expand to the, East, the other East African markets. With regard to the capacity building uh, for resources, yes, we've recently been looking for senior managers and um, we've actually hired quite a number of uh, senior managers into the organization and we are currently running at almost full house in terms of our uh, human resource capital requirements. In total, uh, staff, we have 112. 112 staff. We've injected a total of 3.3 billion shillings into this business between June and, uh, and now. Um, I think the, the issue on uh, Islamic banking in the Kenyan market is more uh, to do with awareness. And that is even why we are having this uh, press conference today. We as DIB will play our role in uh, increasing awareness of Islamic banking in this market and even deepening the, uh, the, the, the depth of Islamic banking in the Kenyan market. There's still quite a bit of work to be done in terms of deepening the market, but Islamic banking is a concept that is actually highly successful in other areas that we operate in, and there's no reason why it should not be successful in this market.